Scenery change. All right. For anybody that watches the videos, as you can tell, I'm not in the same room that we usually record in. Uh, Cam is not with me today. He is currently doing schoolwork, some college work, an essay. But we need content. And uh, yeah, there's a free fight coming up and it's pretty damn good. So I'm going to be talking about the free fight. Um, Brandon Moreno versus Roy Val 2. I need to make my lemonade real quick. So, since this is just a free fight and Cam is not here, he cannot give his picks. And, obviously, the belt's not going to be up if he can't be here or this isn't a pay-per-view. It's only for pay-per-views. Alright, so I'm not going to be going over every single fight on this card. To be real with y'all, I don't know a lot of these people. But I know, like, the young and upcoming prospects like Felipe Dos Santos, Mohamed Naimov. Um, Raw is still fairly young. He's got plenty of time to grow as a UFC fighter. And obviously, the more important fights like Yair, Brian, uh, Brian Ortega, Brandon Moreno, Brandon Roy Val. So I'm going to only be going over those. Uh, tune in for the parlays, you know. Tune in so y'all can get y'all's parlays going. If y'all lose, that's y'all. Not me. Y'all. Y'all trusted. Y'all should have known better. Y'all fucking lost. Now, if y'all win... Cut me 50%. All right, let's cut straight into it. I'm going to start off with Mohamed Naimov and Eric Silva. What I saw out of Mohamed Naimov, uh, Naimov on that, what was that? Was that Abu Dhabi card, I want to say? I think it was the Abu Dhabi card. It might have been Alexa Grasso, uh, Shevchenko too. I think it was the Abu Dhabi card. From Tachikistan, uh, he's, I'm not going to, okay, I'm not going to say really good yet. We saw him against, uh, I don't remember his name. Nathaniel Wood. Nathaniel Wood, he went against. Very, very good fight. He has a lot of pressure. He's really good on the ground. Uh, ground and pound type of guy. I like this guy going into this fight. Uh, tough matchup for Eric Silva. Eric Silva still fairly young in the, his fighting career, just coming off of a loss as well. I think Mohamed Naivov should honestly beat the shit out of him. Um, Mohamed Naimov, Naimov by TKO round two, ground and pound the shit out of him. Now we got our next fight. Felipe Dos Santos versus Victor. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that shit. Felipe Dos Santos looked really, really, really good in his fight against Manel Cop. Now, I'm pretty sure he lost 30-27 on all scorecards decision, but all of those rounds were super close. It just went in the way of Manel Cop. I really, really like this guy. And saying that he's in flyweight, you have Brandon Moreno, you have Brian, uh, I was about to say Brian Pantoja. Um, you have a guy like Pantoja. It's, it's tough, it is, but you're a younger guy. You got plenty of time to develop. I can see this guy going somewhere. I truly do. I like his style a lot. Very flashy, shoot box type of guy. Well, he is shoot box, not type. He is shoot box. Obviously, the odds are in his favor. I have Felipe by complete breakdown decision 3027. I think he's going to beat the shit out of Victor. Next fight I'm going to go into Daniel Lacerda versus Edgar. They fought before. Edgar subbed him. Basically, first round of Edgar was teeing off on him on the feet. Breaking him down on the feet. Daniel shot a takedown. Got him in. A, uh, got the takedown successfully. Once Edgar got back up to his feet, he put Daniel in a standing guillotine. Daniel dropped his arm limp in the standing guillotine, and the ref stopped it. And he immediately got up, was shocked, uh, couldn't believe that he just stopped the fight. Basically saying that he wasn't out. All this, blah 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 blah. I don't think he was out either. But at the time, when your arm goes limp. Anybody's going to think you're knocked out. You're in a standing guillotine. I can't see your face. Your arm just went limp. I'm calling it. But afterwards, seeing that he got up immediately, didn't look like he was out, obviously. Then, yeah, like, dang, why'd you stop the fight, blah, blah, blah. The fight got overturned. Daniel is on a four-fight losing streak every single fight in the UFC so far. 
Before that, I think Edgar's going to do the same thing, either sub him or tee him off on the feet, whatever it is, and beat him again. Daniel, I think this is your last fight in the UFC. You can't go four fights losing and an overturn and then another fight loss if you lose this fight. Uh, yeah, you should lose your contract. Edgar by... Fuck it, I'll go sub. Second round sub. Just cut straight to Raw. Uh, to Raw. Raw is still super young, learning a lot of things. We saw last fight he got a lot of striking technique down. I won't. I won't say a lot. I won't say a lot. It was very quick. We couldn't see uh too much from him, but he did go out there and get a knockout. Raw's developing, man. I mean, he's still super young. He's got great ground game. We've seen him on the ground. He's he's a sub guy. We see that. Once he becomes more well-rounded, you know, keep keep practicing the takedowns, although you are pretty good at it already. But keep practicing the striking, really. Once you get that striking down, know that you can take guys on the feet if you have to. This guy's got a, this kid's got a lot of potential, man. I mean, he was just in high school last year. I don't know if he still is or not. He, he's got a lot of potential. I've been rocking with Raw. I've been keeping up on him. Uh, Should be complete breakdown, honestly. I think he'll go out there and kill Ricky. Okay, that's crazy. I think he'll go out there and, um, like I said for all the other guys so far, beat the shit out of Ricky. I got sub first round. Fuck it. Then we come up on Yair and Brian Ortega. I need to eliminate break on him. Yair versus Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega just got on the scale yesterday. I'm recording this Friday. I think it's Friday. Gotta be Friday. The fights aren't tonight. I'm recording this Friday. He just got on the scale Thursday. For the first time in 19 months. Brian Ortega is a vet at this shit. I know how good he is. He's got good ground game. He's got good sub game. He put a guy like Volk in plenty of subs. Didn't get the finish though. Should have. I mean Volk should have went to sleep a couple times. Or broke some shit. But Yair has fought Volk as well. Completely obliterated by Volk. Volk showed there's levels to this. That you're still too young, not not ready for this kind of competition. But I think he's gonna pull it out against Brian Ortega. I mean, Yair's got good ground game too. He can sub. He's really good on the feet. He's very crafty. He mixes things up very well. I think he has a chance to go out there and beat Brian Ortega. Don't sleep on Brian Ortega just because he hasn't been out there in a while and he's getting older. He still has the ability to go out there. And, and get Yair up out of there. Decision if he goes to the ground long enough. I don't see him. I don't see him staying on the feet with Yair. He definitely shouldn't do that. But if he goes to the ground. Brian Ortega has a chance. For sure. And then final fight. Main event. Brandon Moreno versus Brandon Royval. Both Brandons. Number one versus number three. Brandon Moreno. I personally think. Got the better of Pantoja. Although he lost. Brandon Moreno, I I truly think he had the better combos, the better striking, but be, I, I guess he's too weak for Pantoja. Pantoja's a beast, man. He's walking through all that shit. Brandon Moreno was laying good combos. He was landing good shots. And Pantoja wasn't going out, but neither was Brandon. Pantoja was landing really hard shots and knocking Brandon on his ass, but he was just getting back up, you know, going to war. I think that's going to be a problem, a problem for Brandon Royval. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure Pantoja got him up out of there. Not decision. It was a decision. Okay. Damn. I I still think Brandon's the better fighter. Honestly, I can see Brandon. Uh, sorry, not just Brandon, but Brandon Moreno is the better fighter. I think Brandon Moreno will go out there and I don't think it'll be a knockout. I'll see I'll say another decision. 49 yeah, 49-46. I'll go with that. The odds are in Brandon Moreno's favor. He needs to get this win. He needs to recertify himself as one of the top guys. I mean, obviously everybody knows he's still one of the top guys, but I mean he can go back and get that belt. I don't know if they'll give him another shot because they've already fought three times. Pantoja's got the better of him twice. Um I don't know if they want to give him the fourth. I mean, they gave him Figgy four times, so might as well give uh, Pantoja four times. I think if they fight again, he can get the belt. Pantoja's a monster, but Brandon Moreno's really crafty, and he can throw 
uh, different kind of things that you're not used to seeing. Unlike Pantoja, which he does do that as well. He's just walking through stuff and slinging around, standing and banging. That's really what he does. He can walk through anything. I got Brandon Moreno on this one. Mark it on your cards. Mark your par parlays up. Don't forget to cut me my 50%. See y'all with Cam in the next video.